Hi, and these comments are for one of my students uh, in my online TOEFL course. So you're using my TOEFL speaking and writing feedback service. And I'm getting ready to comment on a practice test that you submitted uh, yesterday. Now, I'm in day six of the coronavirus. This is my journey right now. And I'm not 100%, so sometimes I'm coughing. My voice might not sound exactly normal, so be patient. Okay, so we have... <coughs> okay, I have the rubrics here. Let's take a look at, at your essay. So with the integrated writing task, you, you actually have a pretty good organization, but uh, you do have some language use issues that are causing some trouble with with uh, your ideas okay let me just show you one paragraph what I'm talking about so you have the reading states that many possible causes what if you said maybe three main factors. The reading states that three main factors caused caused a little ice age with a period maybe of unusually unusually cold temperatures. However, the lecture argues that those possible causes are out of date and none of the ideas okay if you if you're using and to connect these two together you don't want the semicolon you want a comma. A semicolon is typically used to join two independent clauses together without and. So you could say this maybe. None of the ideas are not, right? But that's not what you're trying to do here, right? The lecture argues that those possible causes are out of date. And I'm going to say, how about, and did not significantly to colder temperatures. Okay, I think I have it. So if I go through every paragraph, I have to make a lot of corrections. And that's why I did not give you a higher score than 3.5, right? But overall, you understand how to structure your ideas. Don't get me wrong, but you still have to polish your sentences a little bit more. So see if you can go through these other paragraphs. And um, one of the th things you're having trouble with is verb tenses. Sometimes you use present and then past. You're not always consistent with your verb tenses, so be careful about that. You also completed the the um, diagnostic pretest for vowel and consonant sounds over at my website, the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. So let's see which vowel and consonant sounds you're having more trouble with. I'm going to kind of take some notes here. You should too. I'll tell you which areas I think you should focus on the most. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Bought, boat, run, grow, honor, over, father, true, pet, bot, map, mot, duck, dog, and on, mac, mock, bright, brown, broly, light, lot, lot, laura, pie, pond, Okay, I think in lesson nine, you need to form those diphthongs a little bit more clearly. Let me write this down. Gate, get. So you have uh, the, the I, uh, 
I, <coughs> D, ow. Okay, let's keep going. A, let, make, mat, play, blat, ding, dan. Okay, I think with lesson 10, you need to make the first vowel longer. So you have gate, get, mate, met. Meet, mit, pity, pit, lit. That's just Pete, Pete. Lip, sit, 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 hit. Look, look, lack. So it's look, look. Took, to, pot, cut, cut, march, march. Yeah, I think lesson 12, I think you can focus on. That's, sheep, sheep, third, feature, feature, chap, chap, cheer, cheer. Okay. Off, off, half, half, fine, vine, fan, van, wafer, weaver. Yeah, I think you need to pronounce that initial V with more vibration. So you have fine, vine, vine. How habit, who, rehash, behavior, hate, Batman, bitten, important, brightening, hexa, threaten, major, measure, fragile. Okay, I think lesson 15, I want you to practice the glottal stop part of this lesson. So it's Batman. Bitten, important, brightening, hat rack. Fraser, legend, lesion, engine, izu, lash, isha, cake, cast. Yeah, I think lesson 16, you're having trouble with those two palatal consonant Sing, sounds. Hang, gain, cat, cat, lake, lag, lean, rear, but better, laggy, rock, order, ride, light, committed, pace, pace. Flap, flap, cap, cap, lap, lap, paid, beat, lies, lies, sit. Yeah, I think you need to focus on lesson 19. I think that's an important lesson for you. Zip, su, zu, mate, must, Eliza. Su, zu. So the Z, the initial Z sound is harder for you. Eliza, multiple. Robert, Isabel, pressure, made a principal, number, people, philosopher, organism, written, messy man, questions, summer. Okay, give me a second. Let me make sure I'm going down here. We can see what, okay. A reason, chosen, often, dip, dip, cut, cut, by tie, train, drain, fat, fat, in, drain, tie, tie, breathe, breath, teeth. Okay, a lot of trouble with lesson 29 and 24. True thought, what, what is. Okay, so let's say 23 and 24. I think I got it. Okay, so, yeah, I think I, I just took down some notes here. Okay, here are the pronunciation lessons I think you need to focus on the most. Lesson 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. 16, 19, 19, 20, 23, and finally lesson number 24. Now each of these rep <coughs> each of these lessons represents a 10 to 20 minute accent reduction lesson. So what you want to do is to go through those recommended lessons and read out loud with me as I teach you the information in those videos so you can get more familiar with those sounds, those spelling patterns, and so on. Remember that when you, when you begin doing pronunciation practice for the first time, your mouth is going to get really tired. You, you will get a little bit tired, right? Because your, your tongue, your mouth, your lips, you're not used to making all these, these new sounds. So that'll be pretty normal, and then eventually it'll become more and more natural as you're teaching your vocal track to make all these new sounds, and it'll be a lot easier. But it is hard in the beginning. Okay, so thank you for doing the pretest. So now you know specific vowel and consonant sounds that you can study in order to improve your intelligibility. And remember that this is a very big part of getting a higher score on the speaking section because delivery is the first area. That's the first category that either speech writer 
ETS is software scoring engine for speaking, or you have the IBT human raters, they need to be able to understand what you're saying very clearly if you want to get that high score. All right, thank you for doing the, <coughs> the uh, pretest.